Okay, anybody that's ever looked at any of my videos know that uh, I spent a lot of time and effort doing up this whole Shorblin and I've had to make up a, a, a stand for it and anyway, cut a long story short, it's all pretty much finished now and the stand turned out nice and it all fits good and I've got it wired up with an uh, on off switch down on the, on the left of the, um, uh, the base that it stands on and the one thing I haven't got, or didn't have until just now, is um, a chip uh, tray uh, to go under the uh, the RHS that the lathe sits on. So the chip tray will slide in under there. And uh, anyway, being uh, tight, <laughs> I'll either have to make one up or um, or get one. And uh, on my old layer here, my Chinese layer, you can see the, the um, chip and drip tray under that. That is actually the top off of a, off of a one of those rectangular water tanks uh, that I picked up junk day. So uh, junk day is always a good day to scrounge around and look at stuff that might come in handy. And on this, uh, to make up a tray, you know, there's going to be a bit of work and cost a few, few bobs, so I thought oh, I'll just look around junk day and see what I can find that uh, I can shove in temporarily so I uh, I did and I'll show you uh, what I found in the uh, next part of this clip well here's my chip and drip tray and uh, some people can probably guess what it is and uh, what it is is the lid off of a junk gas barbecue um, Aussies love their gas barbecues and they all went mad years ago <laughs> bought gas barbecues and uh, I think the novelty's worn off a bit because every junk day there's gas barbecues uh, thrown out the footpath and uh, yeah the lid off of them which uh, they base, you know, they generally all have a lid of some sort to keep the the cat off and uh, that well isn't that the perfect free drip and chip tray quite a good size cost nothing and uh, you drive down the road and you see an old barbie grab the lid the lid's actually generally quite clean <laughs> the rest of barbie key generally looks like it's um, had a re-entry burnout coming through out of space but the lids are generally good because they take them off and put them aside while they uh, while the chef does his magic stuff but as you can see this one's as I got it and all I did was put a bit of celastic in the corners just to seal them off down here where the knob goes you just take the screw out and just celastic a little metal plate over there so it doesn't leak any oil and you're good to go so uh, how good's that, eh? And that's totally free. So, I'll show you how it fits under the, uh, the lathe. Well, here it is. You can see how big it is. And it's, uh, yeah, it's good enough to job for now, anyway. And uh, anybody with a small lathe like this, uh, or a small Chinese lathe, don't want to spend any money, uh, this is uh, good enough for a ship and drip tray. So, I will slide her under. Perfect. Well, almost perfect. So yeah, pretty good. And uh, that'll do the job. I'll show you around the back, and you can see how well it uh, how well it spits there in the uh, the back of the lathe. Yeah, you can see here how much uh, coverage you get, and it's quite good. Certainly catch most of the rubbish. And we can pan around here. This is a sort of a generic size lid that seems to go on most of the cheap Barbies that people um, tended to buy. So for uh, yeah, for a small lathe, um, good. And as you can see, with this uh, bench design, you just slide them in and out, and there's no hassles whatsoever cleaning them. And I think it's the way to go myself for a smallish lathe. And they're super strong as well. You're never gonna get any bed distortion in these babies so uh, yeah there you go if you want a cheap 
trip tray rather than go down to motor mate and buy yourself a, a trip pan for a car at um, 20 bucks or whatever they cost when you drive down the road see a barbie um, go over and snap all the lid and uh, hot tail it out of there so uh, yep it's free I think it'd be quite good and uh, it fits the bill okay see you next time